Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ken Chrysler, and welcome to WTF. Now, a lot of you all are wondering why I'm standing in the middle of the ring. It's because I have a lot to say. The first thing I want to say is this. I do enjoy working for this company. I do. But my job and my life has been put on the line. I do no longer do I feel safe here. DJ Crazy Dog has came after my job time and time again. He knows I'm a single dad and he's trying to put me out on the street is what he's trying to do. And as for you, Mojo Raleigh, who I have no beef with whatsoever, I have done my research on you, Mojo Raleigh, and I have found out that you have many identities. What's going on with Mojo Raleigh is he suffers from multiple personality disorder. He has three different other personalities, three killer personalities, and that is why he's after me. One of his killers goes after only commentators. That is his basic, his prey that he likes to go after. So Mojo Raleigh, what you need to understand is this. You need to come down to this ring right now because I brought the general manager and I brought corporate man Christopher. And the manager is going to whoop you here tonight. So make sure you bring out one of your killer personalities. Make sure you bring him to this ring. And each time we face you, Mojo, we will destroy each of your serial killer personalities. I am sick of you, Mojo Raleigh. I have done nothing to you. I am just a commentator, and you will stop picking on me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to WTF Wrestling. I just basically gave you the beginning of what is going on, the wrap-up. We will also talk about some other things going on. But here he is, the one, the only, Mojo Rawley. He has three different personalities. I did some digging, some research. I may have took some mental health records, but that's okay. Because now we know that Mojo Rawley has three different personalities. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, three different personalities. And our manager is going to stand up to one of his personalities tonight. This guy is, obviously, something is wrong with Mojo. Um, apparently, I mean, he's, he's became insane. He tried to hurt me last week. One of his personalities does not like commentators. That's what I found out. Uh, I, like I said, I, I may have stole a record or two, but it was for the sake of this company. Because I'm sick of all this stuff going on. And I know, I know Christopher's sick of it. I know the Iron Taylor's sick of it. And I've had enough of it as well. Um, so he is, oh my goodness, this is, this guy is freaking me out. I will be ringside in the middle of danger commentating this match for you guys. Oh my goodness. The, 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 there is chills coming down my spine right now because this guy may be the scariest entity we have ever seen on WTF Wrestling. This man it has been hiding in plain sight from us all along. And, uh, yeah, so I will be here supporting my manager. Oh my goodness, look at something went wrong. What went wrong was the question with Mojo. Oh my goodness, you can just see it in his stone cold face. His hateful face. That he not, does uh, want nothing but chaos on this channel. And hopefully the Iron Ta What the heck is Tyler Breeze doing here? Okay. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and talk to some people. What's up, Corey Graves? How are you? Hey. What's up, fans? Uh, hey, wait a second. Wait. Did you just boo me? Did you just literally boo me? I do not appreciate that, pal. I do not. And let me go over and see what Tyler Breeze is doing. I haven't seen him in a little while. What's up, Tyler? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Tyler? Goodness gracious. Are you supporting this killer? This is one of his personalities. It's the Peak Skull Killer. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So... 
And Iron Taylor's doing a pretty good job neutralizing this first killer. So yeah, I, I yeah, it's been it's been crazy. It's been crazy on this channel. Of course, later tonight I will talk about the Fondango outbreak. But first, hey Corey, how do you like your table? <laughs> That's what you get, Corey. Yeah. How do you like it, Michael Cole? Yeah. You guys think you're announcers. No one can hear you. They can only hear me, though. That's what you all get over there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and join beside Christopher here and watch this lovely match. Christopher's loving it himself. And this is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. And uh, hopefully the Iron Taylor can come out on top here. Come on! And look here, oh my goodness, look at this. It is a 619. Uh, let's go. That is some good work. I still am trying to figure out what Tyler Breeze is doing here. I I don't know why he's here, you know. <laughs> I have no idea. So uh, he doesn't support Mojo. He's just here for the view, I guess. So I, I, I honestly do not know. Yes! Yes! Get him! And a kick out there by Mojo. Ugh. And a drop kick. Yeah, I think Tyler Breeze is just here for the view. And oh my goodness. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. And uh oh. Oh no. No! Oh man! And oh my goodness, should I interfere? I, I'm not going to interfere. I'm going to give Mojo a fair shot at this. If he wants it. I'm, I'm, but I'm not rooting for him. I hope he goes down tonight. At least one of his uh, killer personalities. This is the Pink Skull Killer. He's, uh, according to his psychiatrist, he has three different killer personalities. So we must defeat all three of them. And this is the first one. And oh no, he's doing the 619. Wait a second, he copied the Iron Taylor's moveset. What? How is that legal? That's a copyright on the moveset. And a kick out there by the Iron Taylor. Goodness gracious. So. And look here, oh no. Oh no. This is bull. I'm frustrated. And a kick out there. So it's a two out of three falls here. And. All right, let's go. Tyler Breeze getting excited. I don't know why. And oh no, come on. Hi. And uh oh. And the pink skull killer has got the first point on the board. Yes. Come on, Iron Taylor. Come on. I'm rooting for you. Pull this off. What can I do to help you out? And uh, I might not need to help you out. Look at this. All right. He's about to connect the 619. And he does. Congre oh, good job. Good job. Very good job. I need to get back to my post. And a kick out there once again. Goodness gracious. The, the pink skull killer is not going down without a fight. That's for sure. As he's got one point. Apparently Tyler Breeze has a point as well. I don't know what he's contributed to this match. And look, he's got a point. It says he has a point. Doesn't say Christopher has a point. Oh, now Christopher's got a point. Okay. So maybe, maybe this isn't a match after all. Maybe it's Christopher versus Tyler Breeze. The first one to two wins. And oh my goodness, Iron Taylor is handing out finishers 
as if he's the Oprah of finishers. You get a finisher. You get a finisher. All right, let's go. I think we got this. He did it. Yes, and Christopher celebrating, so am I. Good job, man. Good job. So the first uh, serial killer inside of Mojo Rawley's head has been defeated. That is awesome. So he's got two killers remaining in his head before he can be free again. I don't know if this was the commentator uh, one or not. I haven't found that out, but there's still two more personalities of Mojo Rawley. The only way to stop his uh, multiple personalities is by beating him by pinfall or submission. And that's how we're going to do it. So, ugh. Good job there, and me and Christopher. Uh, good job, Christopher. Thank you for managing. You, d you were a great manager. And uh, Iron Taylor on top for the first match of the night. And oh, Mr. X. What? Oh, they're back again. It's the Fondango crew, and uh-oh. Now the other Fondango is going to help Mr. X. What? <laughs> Mr. X attacked. And this is the number one contendership, by the way, for these eight people. This is for Darkness Juggalo's universal title. Darkness Juggalo will be on WTF tonight. Uh, as a matter of fact, he's only supposed to be on WTF when there's a pay-per-view. Somebody made a mistake and booked him for tonight. So he will be on tonight. Uh, that was an accident. A literally an accident because they wanted to set up a matchup so he's gonna be on this episode instead of uh, CTL so yeah we did not mean to do that that was an accident but he will also see who we will fight at the pay-per-view who will it be it's gonna be one of these eight men with some great competitors here so very great competitors so tonight, we've already learned a couple things. Let me tell you what's going on. First of all, Mojo Rawley, the Pete Skull Killer, has been defeated by the Iron Taylor. There's two more remaining in his personalities. And then he can be free from his own mind. Okay. Then second, the Fandango outbreak continues. Why? Uh, what, what's going on is, with all the stuff going around the world, has been nothing but a distraction all along. Because a Fandango clone army is on the run. Some scientist tried to clone Fandango. And what ended up happening is he cloned 50,000 Fandangos. So now we have a Fandango problem on top of everything else going on in the world. That's the last thing we needed. So 50,000 of them. They're just roaming everywhere. I mean... They're not really on the brand. They're outside of the brands. Just uh, basically, I don't know, putting on their own show behind the scenes or something. I don't know what's going on. They attack Mr. X. He's not part of the WTF roster. He's part of Resident Evil 2. Um, so I don't know why they picked on him. But uh, they better watch out. I mean, they don't want to. They don't want to face the tyrant out of him. So they better stop picking on him. And here comes the big baby. The baby's back, by the way. With WTF. He, he came back a little bit before that. You might see a diaper match between him and Mark here. So that, that would be awesome. A diaper match. And Shark Batista. Randy Angel Wings Orton. Uh, Michael Elvis, of course, here. George Washington. We got two subscribers uh, here as well. Or do we? I thought we did have two subscribers. I don't see two subscribers. So somebody booked this match wrong. What in the world? So Plum's the only subscriber in this match? It's supposed to be two subscribers. 
Mark Henry's probably not supposed to be here. Someone needs to do something about him, by the way. Um, so, yeah, the Dark Knight's here as well <laughs> to blend in. So, one of these eight will face the Darkness Juggalo at the pay-per-view. Big Baby with a big DDT there. Oh my goodness. And uh, uh Michael Elvis. And a kick out there by... Randy Angel Wings Orton. Oh my goodness. And elimination. Uh, that was on the Dark Knight. He has been eliminated. Big Baby Knockouts are on, by the way, as well, guys. So, Batman, the first one eliminated. That's kind of shocking. So, we are down to seven now. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on on WTF, of course. Some people are going to get together on WTF and start a little militia against the X-Patient. That's the rumors that have been going around. But we'll cover that on CTL. Um, and the Dark Knight has left the building. And oh my goodness. And look here. And a kick out there by Plum. Also, Mojo Rawley. And then the Fandango outbreak. And Batista has been eliminated. Uh, so that's another one bites the dust in this match. The Fandango outbreak. Uh, uh, it's been pretty crazy what's going on here. I mean. Michael Elvis has been eliminated. So we are now down to five. So like I said, yeah, 50,000 Fandangos roaming the streets right now. Uh, so yeah, it, it, it's pretty crazy. Imagine if they breed too. It'll even be worse. If they can breed, then it'll even be scarier. Because then you might have 100,000 Fondangos walking around. So, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what we're going to do about this yet. They're not here yet, and there's no way you can fight 50K of them. So, we're just, we're hoping the SWAT gets them first. So, that that's what's... But you never know when they're going to reach one of the brands. So. They've already jumped Mr. X. <laughs> and, and Blum trying to pin the big uh, the baby here. And it does not work. And uh, uh, Randy Angel Wings Orton is here. 
And, oh, uh, oh, look at this. Oh, man, Magic Mark in session. And a kick out there by Angel Wing Orton. And Plum's, gonna, oh man, what a drop kick by Plum. And what a move there by George Washington. And a kick out there by Mark. We are down to five. One of these five will face Darkness Juggalo at the pay-per-view. George Washington, oh no. Oh man, he's trying to break the baby's arm. He's crazy. Somebody call CPS on George Washington. <laughs> Look here. This is being cruel, is what it's being. And George Washington shoves off uh, uh, Randy there. Uh oh. Oh, and George Washington eliminates Angel Will, Angel Wings, Randy Orton. And look at the baby slamming George Washington on his back. And look at George Washington, what a reversal. We are down to three, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently Mark was eliminated as well. I did not see that. So Mark is out as well. And Plum's in trouble. Oh my goodness, Plum could be in trouble here. And Plum with a kick out. We are down to three. One of these three will face the Darkness Juggalo at the pay-per-view. Who will it be at SummerSlam? And look at Plum. Oh, but Washington with the elbows. Could this be it for Plum? And Plum with the kick out. We are down to three, everyone. And, oh, what, what in the world was that? That was a big botch. That's what it was. And uh-oh. The baby's had enough of George Washington. He's had enough. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Look at the baby here. Oh man, Slim's plum on the back of his head. And this chaos continues. Oh man, the baby goes into the still steps. And again, plumb into the still steps. Goodness gracious. Come on, guys. This is crazy. And a kick out there by Plum. So, wow, Plum somehow got out of that. I don't know how he did, but he did. And George Washington and the baby making it into the ring. Oh, Washington eliminates the baby. It's down to, uh, oh, and then t teasing him as he does it. Basically bowing to him, even though he's the one laying down. 
What a gesture that was by Washington. And one of these two will face off with the Darkness Juggalo. Who will it be? And I don't know how the ref can see this. How could he see that that was a kick out from that distance? Does he have a see-through vision or something? How could you see that on the floor? You can't. He's just playing a guessing game is all he's doing. And look, see, now he's, now he's, now since I've exposed him, he's, now he's paying attention. And a kick out there by George Washington. This is getting heated, man. These two want it so bad. And George Washington has knocked out Plum. So it's official. SummerSlam is going to be kicking off with George Washington versus Darkness Juggalo. And that is one going to be our highlight SummerSlam match. It's going to be a good one. George Washington versus Darkness Juggalo for the Universal title. And I honestly, Batman Cesaro is pretty good. And then... Ah, uh, well, I don't know about Tony Ness, but I think come SummerSlam, the Darkness Juggalo has his biggest and baddest challenge yet. The first president. Yes, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough fight for sure. And uh-oh, look here. Fandango again. And what is going on here? They're having a match. And look here. And the referee, he's had enough. Get him out of here! Yeah! <laughs> like, what in the world's going on here? He's had enough! <laughs> All the Fandangos were disqualified as managers. So this is our other eight-man match. This is for Pony Gamer's title. Uh, the Million Dollar Championship. One of these eight will... Um, and three subscribers in this. So, okay, they replaced it. Get three subs on one instead of two subs for each. Okay. Three subs on one, one sub on, on the other. So we got Brandon, we got Ozzy, we have DJ Crazy Dog, and then we also have some wrestlers as well. And Elvis, Elvis is also here. So uh, eight people. This is going to be a good one. It, this is definitely going to be a good one. Our main event will be Darkness Juggalo versus Pony Gamer in a big head mode match. So big head mode match. So it's going to be really good. This is going to be a great match, no doubt in my mind about it. This is just a uh, a great matchup that we're having here. So basically, guys, what is going on is um, we will be having uh, uh, two championship matches at SummerSlam. As I've said, Pony Gamer, Darkness Juggalo. This will determine Pony Gamer's competitor. And we got a lot more subscribers in this one. Thank goodness. We finally got enough. But Man, Elvis. Look at Elvis here. I, I think they all have to stay in the ring. This is a battle royal. It's not like the last match. Look at DJ Crazy Dog. Oh, man, what a move. I'll give him credit. Where credit's due. Even though he tried to, you know, take the food off my plate. By the way, him and Brandon not getting along now. As you can see, they are not helping each other in this match. They are totally on uh, different teams. Everybody is for himself. So even Ozzy, who's part of the Ironclad. We don't know what's all going on with the Ironclad. Right now, there has been a... Kind of a little bit of differences going on between all the members. So we don't know what's going to happen and stuff. Brandon was the first one to uh, uh, do something, uh, uh, create a chain reaction basically between the Ironclad. So we don't know what's going to happen. And DJ with the choke slam on Brock Lesnar there. And 
oh man, Lars Sullivan with some weird athleticism there. I'm not used to that from Lars Sullivan. And look here, DJ with the tombstone on Brock. Could this be over for Brock here? With the tombstone power driver. Jackhammer on Brandon. And Brock is the first one eliminated. So we are down to seven. And the ref totally missed that first pin. And Brandon kicks out because of it. So that saves Brandon in this matchup. So we are down to seven already. And now DJ uh, threw a strike at Brandon. And two kickouts there. So seven remain in this matchup. Kick out there by Elvis. Look at Elvis. Oh my goodness. Punching Ozzy in the face. Richie Goldberg trying to eliminate Brandon. Brandon kicks out. DJ, oh man. Hit Lars, didn't really phase him though. In midair, did not even phase Lars. He has that football helmet on, no wonder. And the double team there on Lars now. And DJ trying to pin Lars, can he get him? And a uh, kick out there. Look at Brandon going for a pin as well. And a kick out there by Witchy Goldberg. And Elvis has pinned Ozzy. Elvis pinned Ozzy, so Ozzy's been eliminated. And Brandon just laid out Witchy Goldberg, so we are down to six now. One subscriber has been eliminated from this match. Look at Brandon. On Witchy Goldberg there. And I don't know what happened there. And oh man, Brandon beating the tar out of Witchy Goldberg. And Titus has finally gotten Lars back. So Lars has been eliminated. We are down to five now. So the the uh, they're slowly... And oh, what a nice reversal there by Brandon. Reversing the spear. We are down to five in this matchup. And oh no, DJ Boston Crab here by Titus. But here's, uh oh, here's the key. Look here. Will DJ tap is the question. And he does. Titus makes DJ Crazy Dog tap out. So DJ has been eliminated from this match. And we are down to four officially. And it could change. And Brandon's been eliminated by Witchy Goldberg. So now we're down to three. Elvis, Witchy Goldberg, and Titus. One of these men will face off with Pony Gamer. And oh no, Elvis is about to get a jackhammer. Oh my goodness. Oh man. And uh, he, does, he doesn't go for the pin because Titus got a little involved and look at Titus. Oh man.
And look here. And a kick out there by Elvis. Who will win it is the question here. One of these guys going to get number one contendership here. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Oh, my. oh Elvis is done. He taps out. So it's down to Witchy Goldberg versus Titus the Ramhead O'Neal. Oh, and Titus with a move. And look here. And a kick out there. And a nice reversal there by Titus. Could it be Titus? Could he pull off the upset here? Is the question. DDT. Oh man, we it could happen. Let's see. And somehow Goldberg kicks out. Oh, that was close. Titus continues his dominance against uh, Witchy Goldberg. And I, uh, Witchy Goldberg. Oh man, oh that's a spear. It's game over. And a kick out there by Ty, uh, out there by Titus. I thought it was gonna uh, be over with. Titus is still kicking. Oh man, Titus with a nice reversal. He could take it. You never know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Jack Hammer from Richie Goldberg. Oh my goodness. Then he puts his leg over the other leg so he can't kick out. It's just, it's a cheating maneuver. And uh, Goldberg wins. So it looks like he'll be a pony gamer versus Witchy Goldberg. Darkness Juggalo versus George Washington at SummerSlam. Those are our two title matches that we're going to get at SummerSlam. So, um, congratulations to those two guys with their big victories tonight. Uh, both men, both Darkness Juggalo and Pony Gamer are going to have the fight of their lives. Probably their toughest co competition yet. So this is going to this is going to get good. And uh, our main event's coming up next as Pony Gamer will take on Darkness Juggalo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my goodness, that is just weird. Absolutely weird. Speaking of weird, this is at WrestleMania now. Uh-oh, the lights went out. It's Fandango again! Oh no! Oh my goodness! A choke slam! He choke slammed himself! I don't get it! <laughs> and here's our big head match uh, main event for the night and Darkness Juggalo here. We will be hearing from Pony Gamer. He is going to talk to Darkness Juggalo. These two have had a history together as a tag team, but I don't know what's all going to happen uh, transpire here. Darkness Juggalo, it's been a while. I remember when we tagged against Unsubscribe and Die and dismantled them for the time being. And now, you are the Universal Champion, and I am the Million Dollar Champion. And we have two competitors at SummerSlam, but what you need to understand is this. 
You're part of the CTL roster. You're not supposed to be on here tonight. But they're letting you on. And what you also need to understand is this. As much as I respect you, I'm a better champion than you are. That's right. I'm a better champion than you. And come SummerSlam, not only will you lose your title, I will win mine. And you will permanently be at CTL once and for all. Tonight, I am going to prove to you in a singles match, right here, right now, that I am the better champion. Wait a second. What's going on here? This is a singles match. The heck? What? What? Um, Darkness Juggalo and Pony Gamer have been scheduled for a singles match. And I don't know what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. I, what in the world? It's the Brian Kendrick. The world is he doing out here? Oh my goodness, I just read it. Uh, oh my goodness. The Brian Kendrick has officially made this a triple threat match. He, what? He's not supposed to be here. <laughs> so, what is Brian Kendrick doing here? Paul London. Hey, Paul London's across somewhere else. He's not here. Brian, if you're looking for Paul London, he is not here. What is going on with Brian Kendrick? He's lost his mind. He's lost his marbles is what's going on. This is insane. Now it's a triple threat match. Whatever happened to champion versus champion? Now we got champion versus champion versus Brian Kendrick. Great. That's all we need. <laughs> What is he wearing? Is that tentacles coming out of his head? <laughs> like, what is going on here? Uh, he has tentacles coming out of his head. <laughs> and look, they're double teaming him. They don't want him in this match. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what is he thinking? Oh my goodness. Look at Darkness Juggalo. Look, he's taking everyone on right now. The Brian Kendrick. I don't know what's going on. Look at, uh, yeah. And look here. Oh, man. That's just hard on the eyes, though, watching those tentacles go crazy. Something happened to the Brian Kendrick. I don't know what, but something happened to him. And now we're getting a little matchup between... Darkness Juggalo and Pony Gamer here. And he's showing off. Nobody's nobody's cheering you, Brian. Nobody's cheering you. I don't think anyone cares what you're doing. And Darkness Juggalo going after him now. Look at this. And he's going for the pin. And a kick out there by the Brian Kendrick. And look here. They're trying to have their fight, and Brian Kendrick keeps on interrupting. That's what's going on here. And uh, Pony Gamer's had enough. He's had enough of this nonsense. Who does this guy think he is? Coming down to the main event match? Interfering? With tentacles coming out of his hat? Like, come on. He had no business. He wasn't scheduled tonight. Nobody schedules Brian Kendrick. <laughs> Unless he's with Paul London. <laughs> and uh-oh. This is insane. Sanity is what it is. Darkness Juggalo going for the pin. Please end this. 
And Darkness Juggalo has ended that nonsense that came into the ring. So enough is enough. Brian Kendrick's been eliminated. So it's down to Pony Gamer and Darkness Juggalo here. And I think we need WTF security to escort Mr. Kendrick out of here. I don't know what he is doing here, but he totally failed tonight, is what he did. And look at Pony Gamer. Oh man, what a slam that was. And Darkness Juggalo could be in trouble here. And a kick out there. <laughs> oh, what a slam. Oh, wow. I think these guys have the same move set. And a kick out there by Darkness. And look there. Oh man, what a slam by Darkness Juggalo. Oh, another combination there. And he's gonna go for the pin. Can he get it here? And a kick out there by Pony Gamer. One of these two men will win the, the bragging rights match tonight. Darkness Juggalo is running out of stamina. He used a lot fighting Brian Kendrick. What was he even doing here? I mean, like, come on, guys. What was Brian Kendrick doing here tonight? What was that? What was that all about? Did he accomplish anything? Paul London's not coming back. That's what you need to understand, Brian. He's not coming back. And Darkness Juggalo knocks out Pony Gamer. Wow. They were going to go for the pin, but it was an instant knockout. Yeah, Paul London's not coming back anytime soon, I don't think. And Darkness Juggalo with an excellent victory tonight. And he will be facing George Washington, Pony Gamer facing off with Witchy Goldberg, ladies and gentlemen. And we got one more promo left. So what will it be is the question. Are you kidding me? This is the promo. Fandango's WWE Champion. And apparently the other three have a problem. Stay tuned for next time on WTF.